Is that a Roger I see before me? It is. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm ready for the weekend. <laughs> I took today off, so I haven't had another long, another, long another Friday off? Man, people are yeah. going to start talking. That's lucky. Yeah, we, uh... We had we had rain a lot this week, and now I, it's, I was going <laughs> to ask how the hurricane went for you guys. I saw that. Yeah, it was a uh, it was you know far far west from us, but um, we got all the rain because that we're on that northeast part, so all that that Gulf rain just got pulled in, and it rained pretty solidly for three days, and I was I was done with rain. I can imagine. But uh, yeah, so now I have to do the yard work. As a, oh. Yeah. So. Oh well. That's that's what I've got planned for the weekend. But, but for my Friday night, as usual, I'm here with you, and we're gonna we're exploring the Shenandoah Valley yet again. This is scenario number three tonight, Winchester, and uh, I was just uh, I was just preparing this module. Or I, I said a as you can see out loud enough. You have if uh, you've looked at the module yet, but uh, I did a little setup for us like I did last week where I brought in some of the text just to have everything at, at our fingertips and to, to have some of the uh, Victory Point locations easily identifiable for you so you can see what their values are. Um, but uh, yes, if you, if you click in the notes field there, we have the fruits of my labor from the last uh, half hour or so. Oh, wow. Thanks yeah, sure, sure, sure. And, uh, well, I mean, it, it was, I had read through the scenario before and I went, oh, okay, yeah, I, I got this. This is, this is, you know, you are playing the Confederates tonight, so this is all on you to get points. And this one is the first one we've had in a while where you get points per turn. So that's, that's the neat yeah. little new, uh, new change for this this scenario tonight. Uh, if you, if no one, uh, anyone watching this after the fact has never played one of the scenarios where you get cumulative points, then you'll get to see that tonight. I would bet any amount of money that uh, that Roger will succeed in getting one or two of these victory point locations and holding onto them uh, for a few turns. Uh, so that's going to be an interesting wrinkle. But then when I started reading more as I was bringing the text over, <laughs> boy, there's a lot. I mean, just like last time, there's a lot of words, a lot yeah. of special rules yeah. in this. And they're, yeah, they're not, a whole page. right, they're not <laughs> difficult. It's just a lot of nuance to kind of simulate. This is where they get in there and they tinker with things just to make sure that, uh, that I as the union are not doing anything untoward and, and, yeah, I guess it's just to regulate and, and try to make it as historical as possible. So we're not doing anything uh, incredibly ahistorical, although you and I tend to do that anyway, just because this is blitz, blitz, right? Right. Uh, <laughs> but uh, That's what you got to do in these scenarios. You can't. Uh, clearly. I mean, historically. Clearly, right. If you did, especially if a union player does it historically, it's going to be a blowout. Just, right. Um, so I have got the scenario notes open. Um, before we go through that, I do want to talk about uh, what you discovered this week. You want to tell everybody what you discovered this week? Oh yeah, we were misplaying it. <laughs> hey, but that's good. It's it's an ev it's an ever evolving game, right? So each time we do it, we get a little more correct, and that's fine. Yeah, the uh, union player does not get the plus one. He only gets the die roll and a men move two, just like all green alike. Just like all green alike, and as I also learned, just like on to Richmond, the basis. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So that is it is noted there on the uh, on the charts. Uh, I will I will pull up the chart here just to see myself if it is in this one. If they've got the, the most recent one, and sure enough, infantry leaders. It's a d6 plus one, but. If you're in Stonewall in the Valley, all green alike, or on to Richmond, it is a D6, minimum two. So anywhere between two and six is what the Union will march. So I will be cognizant of that tonight. And uh, I'm, I'm glad we caught that because we still have a couple more turns, or a couple, well, we have four more scenarios that we're going to do uh, in this uh, in this title. So I want to make sure we're doing them right. Um, and... Uh, as always, if anybody else out there who is more experienced with this particular scenario uh, or this title and find something that we're doing, this is your opportunity to be a hero and, and, and just say yes. it right down there in the comments field. We will we will love to hear that information and, and correct as we go. Um, 
but tonight, once again, we are in the valley. Uh, this is Winchester, scenario number three. And uh, I, I did not go back and read the uh, game history section, but what I do remember about uh, this campaign at this point, uh, uh, it is late, well, as we see there, it's late May, and uh, Jackson is probably in new market at this point, and then he this is where he's going to make a run back down the valley and see if he can harry and harass the Union forces uh, directly, because he's got his dandruff. Um, so we'll go through, I'll go through all the special rules here. Um, we will not do this on the next video. We'll just kind of skim through it. But I do want to make sure because for me with the union, I do have a lot of a little uh, onesie twosie things that I want to make sure that I'm, I'm aware of those, uh, especially where county lines are involved uh, and how that releases certain forces of mine. So uh, basically the first turn only very specific units, uh, Jackson and Stonewall Brigade, uh, Campbell, Ashby, Tolliver, and Taylor. They are the ones right down there in New Market with Jackson right now. And they are, they have no marker on them, so they are free and clear, and Ashby is up at Mount Jackson. And what's neat is, uh, from last week, we start on the middle map, which is right there at Flukes Mill. So, uh, I'm as I recall, when you were the Confederates, you captured Flukes Mill, so... That works in very well with this starting point tonight. Um, turn two, it will still be Confederate only. So on turns one and two, uh, Roger will get to do whatever he likes for as long as he likes or is able to. Um, and we will not have a, uh, and we can see that for number three there, do not determine random events. So there will be no rain on turns one or two. You have, you have imp uh, freedom to march all over without the fear of slowing down. Um, let's see. Oh, and you must stay at least six hexes away from all of my Union forces. If you get incredible march rolls, which is possible, you may get up to seven away, but not six away. Um, and then your objective hexes, we'll talk about what the values of them are uh, on the other tab when we go through the victory points, but basically they are at the bottom of the valley, and they are the usual locations that we fought over between all green alike and here we've got uh, the old chestnuts of uh, front royal which is uh, right uh, where is it it's right there uh, yeah front royal uh, that is indicated there i have forces in front royal right now we have strasburg which we've we fought over time and again uh, mm -hmm. and then moving down the valley we have uh, the usual ones winchester we have martinsburg and we have Harper's Ferry. This is, you know, the first big time that that uh, Jackson is going to go for the the uh, the Harper's Ferry enchilada. So um, those are all going to be worth uh, victory points, not only for holding them at the end of the game, but as we will see, we're going to pay attention to the turn indication phase, which is basically the very last step of our turn procedure when we move the turn marker. That's when we'll assess what Roger controls, and he will get victory points as we go along. Um, and that's essentially what that whole paragraph is saying, that uh, you can move through, you can tag it, um, and you don't have to have a unit there to control it. However, you do lose control if I go back through it, and you also lose control if you are not in the, the county in which that hex is located. So if Jackson goes down there, tags something, and then, for, for example, in Martinsburg, which is in, what, uh, Berkeley County, if he then exits Berkeley County with all of his forces. If he doesn't have a presence in the county, then he will still lose control of Martinsburg. So um, it's not simply enough to just go around and tag these spots. You've actually got to attempt to control them. Um, and then all five, six, and seven is all about the Union side. Essentially, um, I can't do anything for turns one and two. That's a given. Uh, the uh, My two cavalry regiments, I believe, the 10th Maine and the 8th New York, cannot activate or entrench until uh, Roger comes into Clark, Frederick, or Hampshire County, which are down here around Strasburg, or, or excuse me, Winchester, um, around Winchester, and I think even farther down... Uh, no, nope. basically those Frederick and Clark are there. So when he comes into those, then they will get unlocked. Um, the one PHB and the first main regiments, they can't do anything until he comes into Berkeley County, which, as I said, is up here. Uh, Martinsburg is the, the uh, I believe, the county seat of that. 
And then uh, my big units there uh, are locked. Uh, they're in more field, and they can't do anything until they're released. And I have to roll each turn on that. Um, and so starting with turn three, I will attempt to unlock them. I can get a die roll modifier, but uh, I need a roll of one or less. If I do it one time, then there's no need to do it uh, again. Um, but if I fail it, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> I mean, I know how I roll. I need a one, not going to get a one. Um, but then uh, I will make attempts every turn, uh, and then I will start getting die roll modifiers on turn eight, um, which is a minus one to my die roll, and then on turn nine and subsequent, I will get minus three. So at some point, hopefully I'm not rolling sixes the whole night, um, I should be able to unlock those units. But during that time, that means Roger's going to be able to go all around. You know, he can he can march with impunity uh, all around those units and and do whatever. Uh, I will also potentially get reinforcements. So again, starting with turn five, I'm going to make a die roll. I'm trying to get a one or less with modifiers. Um, those modifiers will increase there on turn eight and turn nine. Um, and essentially, whenever I finally get the one or less then I will get these three that I am showing here. Um, they are from the Department of the Rappahannock. <clears throat> and the first one will go on immediately on that turn that I get it. And then the next stack will go the next turn, and the next stack will go on. So I'll put them onto the turn track, and they will uh, subsequently come out over, over multiple days. Um, once I get the one or less, I don't have to roll every time. Um, and let's see. Oh, yes. In the first turn that uh, Winchester is Confederate controlled, or there is a unit, one of Rogers' units in Berkeley or Jefferson County, as we said, way up here. Um, and that line runs essentially uh, long Duncan Run there down to Stony Chapel. So that's the, f the first time in a while we've had to really pay attention to these county lines. Um, then I will get e the uh, potentially emergency. I have two emergency reinforcements. I have SLU or Slough and Cooper. And then I will be able to place those. Um, and they will go into Harper's Ferry. So, and then they can they can activate as normal. And then, uh, just for historical purposes, number seven there says that uh, even though Shields is listed as the second Shenandoah, he's actually, in this scenario, he's controlled by McDowell as a uh, the district of the Rappahannock. So he is first Rappahannock. That means that uh, banks will not be able to uh, control him uh, as far as making assaults, but I will use McDowell instead as that district leader. So a little bit of uh, historical nuance to that, just to make sure. But I will have two district leaders available to me during the game tonight. Wow. I just spent uh, 10 minutes talking about that. Let's look at the victory conditions for this one. Um, so the big one that Roger is, you know, just like McDowell was for the Confederates last time, the big one, the big points, um, is Harper's Ferry. That's what Jackson is ideally shooting for. Um, he gets five points for every single turn that he controls Harper's Ferry. Um, so again, there's there's different ways you can do that. You can tag it and still be in Jefferson County, but if he if he tags it and then leaves and then I take it again, then uh, the, the turn indication phase, which is the very last step of each turn. Um, if he does not control it at that point, he does not get the five points. But uh, and then all and I've got a little five point marker there as a reminder. Um, and then all the rest of them are the same way. We've got three points for Martinsburg. We've got uh, two points for Winchester here, and then two points for Front Royal, which is down here uh, on the uh, across from uh, Strasburg. Uh, and Strasburg is also worth two. And then it should say there's an exception there. Um, the Confederate player does not get VPs for Strasburg if he also controls Front Royal at the same time. So he only gets the two points for one of them. Uh, we have plus two, minus two for uh, combat losses and retreat losses and everything. So that's a little bit higher than last week. Um, and then the, the very last thing, if uh, Front Royal and Strasburg, so both of them are occupied by Union Infantry or Cavalry at the end of the game, then you lose four points for each. This is where all that text comes in, and we will revisit that as we get closer to the end because that's important. Uh, for each and every infantry brigade ending the game in any hex on the middle map, 
uh, whose last digits are 14 or less, or any hex on the north map, regardless. So if you're too far down the valley, uh, and I control, basically if you've gone all around me down to the uh, to the bottom or the northern part of the valley, and the Union is still in control of Strasbourg and Front Royal, then there's going to be some negative points for you. Um, and uh, yes, uh, so four victory points for each infantry brigade, which could be pretty devastating. Because, we look at the victory point schedule there, uh, the magic number that Roger's trying to hit for a marginal Confederate victory is 45 points. So, you have your a la carte menu of how you wish to attempt that tonight. And I'm, you know, as always, excited to see what you're going to come up with. A little bit from column A, a little bit from column B, I expect. Uh, what do you think? This is going to be tough, I think. Because, uh, unless, as you said, your your die roll is terrible for reinforcements. Uh, if you get your reinforcements early, this is going to be really hard. <laughs> it's going to be I'm really curious just about, uh, well, obviously, with, with weather being a factor, um, what do I, I mean, I, as you know with me, I prefer to play scenarios as the defender, so I like to just be able to uh, to stop you, to just say, oh, you need this? Okay, I have to just do whatever it takes just to make sure he doesn't get that. Uh, in this case, um, I think it's going to be uh, imperative on your behalf to, to make sure that you find what you want and take it you know with without any hesitation and hold on to it for as long as you can um, this yes. this reminds me much of and and for novice players that are watching this this is this is probably the closest the one of the basic scenarios will get to the campaign games where much of the premium of your scoring of of points in the advanced scenarios is holding on to target locations over multiple turns. So, for example, in the Maryland campaign, um, you know, you, you can go deep into Maryland or over towards Washington. The longer you can hold some of those counties, uh, then you're going to get lots and lots of points, and you can really bank up some points and, and then offset some of the losses you're going to take later. So this is, this is a scenario, I think, that's going to encourage you to race, 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 get control of stuff, and then try to just do some moderate defense of those uh, depending on when I get released, because that is the huge X factor, as you pointed out. Um, and I don't know. I mean, it's I, I have to, I just have to react to you in every single way in this scenario, it seems. This is very historical. Jackson goes down the valley, and then they try to cut him off. He slips away. That's well, yeah. what I need to do. Okay. I think without any further ado, we're at the uh, about 20 minute mark, so I don't think I certainly don't have anything to do for the first two turns. Um, we will use the recover rain on those just to make sure that nothing's happening. But uh, at this point, I will turn it over to you. If you don't have any questions or anything to point out, um, we will start you at New Market and let uh, Jackson and his forces do whatever they're going to do. And I will sit and okay. watch for a little while. Okay, here we go. And good um, good luck as always. Oh, good luck to you as well. Thank you. Um, so Jackson is going to activate all his infantry. Here's their movement. It's a three, and he does get the plus two. So that's a five. Taylor. Jackson. One, two, three, four, five. Stonewall Brigade. One. Well, that's the first question answered for me. I was curious on what side of the Mass of Nuttons you were going to go. Uh, yes, I looked at that, having taken vacation, I had a long time to look at it, and I looked at uh, to which way to go, and Jackson went this way. And so Who are we to argue with that, right? <laughs> that's right. Um, let's see. So that's a nine there. So that's still two MPs. We can go one, two, three, four. Wait, did I this count? I have five. One, two, three, four. Oh, I did. Everybody's got to back up one. So there. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay. Uh, same group. There is one little thing on that that uh, I 
I want to make you aware of before we get too far. Taylor belongs to Yule. So Taylor may have to stay back at Newmarket. I'm not sure, but okay. I think for leader activation, he uh, he could activate the three units, and then if he's still within range, he could activate Taylor. But I don't, I don't know that he could activate them at the same time because he's doing a uh, his his particular division. Yeah, I can't find anything, so I'll go with that. So I'll put Taylor back where he was. And he could still march. I think he's just not going to get uh, the benefit immediately unless you keep Jackson nearby to act him, activate him subsequently. Yeah. So I'll move. Uh, I'll leave him a new market for now. I'll move okay. these guys. Okay. Um, so they went T, and he's back to nothing. He's like, okay. Um, I didn't even catch that, that he was Ewell's. Um, should have, though. Uh, let's see. So I need a movement. There we go. That's better. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Campbell's just going to go in right behind him. Okay, so now we'll do Taylor. His movement plus one, seven. He has no trouble marching whatsoever. <laughs> Five, six, seven. seven. Uh, his movement. Five, one, two, three, four. Hmm. Where are you guys? Are still way up there. I'll take Jackson's guys to fatigue three. Here's their movement. It's eight again. Uh, here is Stonewall Brigade's extended march. They're going to flip. They're going to go eight. Four, five. Eight. Campbell is extended march. He's fine. He's going to pull up one behind them there. There's Tolliver's extended march. He's fine. He's going to go one, two, four, five, six, seven. He's going to stop right there. And Ashby movement is eight, and he gets a cow, cow, what a cow gets a plus one. Plus one, yeah. So he's going to go one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's, those are two pointers. Yeah, eight. So that's as far as he can go. Uh, take him to yellow. This is movement. It's a nine, ten. So it's going to be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's going to do it for me today. Okay. So I will recover rain. Go ahead and take your turn two markers off. Okay. And I will advance the turn marker. Yes, we are on turn yeah. two now. So uh, okay. you are free and clear to navigate for turn two. We'll activate uh we'll go ahead and activate Ashby first. Okay. Um here's his movement. He gets a four plus one is five. So that's one. He needs to move into the woods hex, which is um, is the woods hex. Woods is a six. So he's that's as far as he can go. Uh, I'll do him again. There's his movement. Eight. So that's going to be, he's going to lose six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, he can only go to Burner Springs. That's as far as he can go. You, okay. re you really have studied this map. Good for you. Well, I, I miscounted. I thought I could go through St. Peter's Church. Oh, and I right, can't. right. So anyway, he's as far that way as he can go for this turn. Jackson will activate his guys. There's their movement. 
six, two, three, four, six, I think Jackson could have gone one more, because the 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 Ford is just a regular road at that point. Okay. So Campbell can cross as well. Yeah. Six. But you know what happens when you leave Tolliver on the other side of the river. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna rain tomorrow. It's gonna rain tomorrow. <laughs> can you cab? And I should do this a little faster. Uh, he gets to do four. One, two, three, four. Taking the fatigue two. Now move five. Wow, well, guys. One, two, four, five. He will connect to all his guys. Is there movement? Five. So we line. We'll march off first. One, two, three, four, five. Allison will follow. One, two, three, four, five. You will tremble. One, two, four, five. Taylor. One, two, three, four, Scott, one, two, three, four, same group, movement, eight, from the middle of the line, it's going to lead the way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, also, you will also go that far. Eight. Taylor will fire him. And him. I can do anything else today. Okay, then. Well, then we will recover rain on that. Everyone is reset. Good job. Well, turn indication phase. We go on to turn number three now. Now we do random events. Would you like to do the honors, or would you like me? Uh, I'll go ahead and roll. Okay, you do it. I lost. Where's my charts? There they are. Uh, two dice. Three is... Rain. Current, plus rain one. Rain, current, plus one. No asterisks. This is rain, current, plus one. Okay. So, um... Ooh. Yes. Ah! ah! <laughs> Drat! <laughs> that river! Oh, boy. So, let's put some rain out. Uh, rain, rain, rain. So, we got rain today, and we got rain tomorrow. For minor. Okay, so that's for, minor. for the end of tomorrow. And then major... is three. Okay, so that's... Uh, On the table. Two. Yeah, so I got that one the right thing. Okay, so uh, the Shenandoah is going to be... Uh, yep. Unfortable for a bit. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, I, Jackson is he's, he's running <laughs> he's running signal flags up the tower saying what are you doing over there? Um, okay, so that is good. Um, all right, so I need to now see if I can. Uh, I have to do some unlocking here or whatever. Uh, all right, so let's open up that again. The notes. Okay, here it is. The nine units uh, starting the game in Moorfield may not activate. Uh, union player rolls a die at the start of each turn, beginning turn three. Cool. And on a one or less, all nine units and leaders in Moorfield. So, ah, uh, yes. Fremont and Blanker and all them. Okay. So here's my roll for them to see if we can get them activated. Or released, rather. Hey! Got it. All right. Oh. Wow. Okay. This changes everything right off the bat for me. <laughs> <laughs> at least it's raining, though. Oh, that's true. That is right true. Away. All right. I think that's it for all of my unlocking and everything. So if you would like to do... Uh, well, you did the, the random events, so I will do the, the roll for our first initiative. Here we go. Union first. And it is Union. Okay. 
Hmm. All right. So suddenly, bridge is vitally important to all of this. Um, we're gonna we're gonna utilize, I think, some of the cavalry. We'll do the first Michigan. They will march and get a. Uh, make sure that I don't have any other restrictions on my cavalry movement. Uh, USA cavalry is just two d six as per usual. Okay, so here we go. Two d six. It's a seven. So two, four, six. We'll take them to Burnt Mills. That's better. Okay. Initiative. It is yours. Okay. Um, you will activate all his guys again. Here's their movement. Four is a six. So once again, the... So it's a good time to be on a pike. Maryland line will walk march, so they'll go one and a half, three... Four and a half, six. Those will follow up behind them. To Trimble. So follow up behind them. Behind him. Follow up behind them. Initiative. It's yours. I think the first Maryland will march. They will go to fatigue level one. Movement of uh, just a die roll. Four. He's too small to pull up the bridge. I had to check that. Yes, he is too small, sadly. Um, but he will just move there. And uh, initiative. Yours. I'll activate Yule's division. Here's their movement. Five. Maryland line will step off first. One and a half. Three. Four and a half. So we'll follow up there. And this camera is just going to kind of fall the line here. Initiative. It's mine again. Jackson, I quit Stonewall and Campbell. Is there movement? It's four. Two, four. Two, four. Initiative. Yours. Uh, the first Maryland will march again. And get a one. Min two. Uh, no, not for that's if I activate with a leader. So oh, sadly, yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's no, no, no love for the marching of the Marylanders. Um, all right, they're gonna just um, they'll fall back into front royal uh, initiative. That's mine again. I think the uh, first Michigan will go to two. And they will get a die roll of nine. So uh, one and a half, three, five, seven, and nine. Initiative. Yours. Activate uh, Stall Brigade and Campbell. Here's their movement. It's a seven, two, Four, six. Follow up behind them. Initiative. Mine again. Activate Ashby. Six, seven, two, four, six. Initiative. Yours. First Vermont. March. Movement. Six, two, three and a half, five. That's as far as they can go. Initiative. Yours. Ashby again. His movement. Six, seven, something. Two, four, six. Initiative. Mine again. The Virginia Regiment. Cab. Seven, eight. Seven, one and a half. Three, four and a half. Six, seven and a half. Initiative. Eyes are mine. Can activate Yule's division again. So this is their movement roll. Here's an eight. So we'll start with the Maryland line. Here's their extended march. No modification. It's fine. So it's going to be two, four. LZ extended march is fine. Two, four. Uh, Trimble, extended march. 
He's fine. It's one and a half. Three. Taylor. Extended March. No more fires yet, so he's okay. One and a half. Three. So it's going to be four and a half to get to there. Plus another one is five and a half, so he can join up with Yule. And finally we have Scott. His extended March. Two, so he's fine. One and a half. Three. Four and a half. And he can also join up with Yule. Initiative. Mine again. Well, let's see. I need to start getting some points. Hey, Roger. Remember remember that, that lesson we had a long, long time ago about patience, right? <laughs> patience. Yeah. I, but I'm going to get 45 points. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to say that is, you know, I obviously I'm biased because I'm like, hey, I don't want you to do anything. But I don't want you to rush an attack that you might regret later. But yeah, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Sure, so, sure. No, no, please continue. It's going to be rain tomorrow. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to go in. I'm going to try to get some manpower losses as well. So we're going in with everybody. Okay. So here's the attempt to go in. So I have... Uh, so which, I would assume you're bringing in the 12 manpower? Yeah, Trimble and Taylor are going okay. in. So uh, that is 6 to 1, so plus 5 for ratio. Um, and plus 1 for assault, plus 3 tactical, plus 5 ratio, minus 1 rain... All right. Is that uh, is that everything? I think so. So I have it as so plus eight. Plus eight. Okay. I will say my fond farewells to the first Maryland. Oh. Maryland, my Maryland. Okay, die roll. Well. Well. Okay. So it's plus five. It's plus five is not bad for you. That's no. not a bad result. Okay, yeah. I will, I will take that six roll. Um, so plus five is a DR. Uh, so that gives you a, a man a couple points for manpower losses. So, uh, and then I and you get an, a twelve, right? So just an EA. All right. Yeah. So we'll give you a. And I'll put my one out, and you can you can add to it. Demoralization flee, and we will go one. Two, three, four, five into the mountains. I'll advance with Kayla Trimble. Oh, we're well, hoping to get that unit destroyed completely. Oh well. Can't have everything. <laughs> Where would you put it, right? <laughs> Initiative. It's mine again. Make the Virginia Regiment. Here's his movement, 10, 1 1.5, 3, 4.5, 6, 7.5, 9. Initiative, it's yours. Okay. First Vermont will uh, we'll march. Getting a 4. That's not very helpful, guys. Come on. I know it's raining and muddy. Uh, so one and a half, three and a half. Initiative, mine again. Fifth New York, March. Yes. Ooh, they'll, they'll make up for it. These are the mm. obviously the polo players. Uh, two, three and a half, five, six and a half, eight and a half. Uh, ten and a half. There we go. We got a nice little line of of horsies. Initiative. Mine again. And I'll start moving these guys out of Mooresville. So Fremont. I haven't said that name in forever. Fremont will activate. Uh, let's see. Who can? Yes, they will. He will activate his three units from the mountains, and they will get a minimum two to this roll. And get a six. So he'll go 
one and a half, three, four and a half, six. And Shink will just pull up there at four and a half. And Clusaret will pull up there at five and a half. Initiative. Yours. I'm going to pass. Okay, I will activate now, the... And I'll pass here. Well, I'll just say I'll pass. I'll let you go ahead. And... Okay, okay. Uh, Fremont again. We will activate them. And go there. And minimum two. Another six. Look at that. We're not supposed to be like this. I slow. know. <laughs> <laughs> Three. The only thing that's helping me now is the rain. Six. If there wasn't rain, I would be in serious trouble over here on the plank. We'll just both pull up there. Um, initiative. So I will continue then since you're passing. Um, Blanker will activate his three brigades. And they get minimum two. Two. All right. So I think they will all just do a minimum march. Yeah. Right to there. Okay. Uh, we'll do that again. And get another two. So Blanker more than makes up for the reputation yeah. of, of, of molasses in the mountains. Uh, he was close to being my MVP. Though, yeah, that's true. Great. He was. <laughs> fourth... Uh, We'll do the fourth, fourth New York, fourth New York. Uh, they get ten, so they can go three, six, nine, and we'll go again. And they get six, so three, six. I will move the fifth New York, and I'll just do a minimum move to there. And do I have anybody else that's... Oh, I do. I have, I have First Maryland Cavalry. Let's get them moving. Uh, Where's that? Oh, they're up there? up there at Winchester. So they get... Woo! They get some rolls. So three, six, nine, twelve. And do them again. Get a six this time, so mm -hmm. three, mm -hmm. six. All right. Um, and I don't think I have anybody else that I want to move, so you have passed. I will now pass, and we will do the turn, our first big turn indication phase, where we're going to give you some points. So I will, uh, I will move the track marker to four, and we will give you... Uh, so it is two victory points for Front Royal, right? So we will advance mm -hmm. you to two victory points. Uh, so we are now at turn number four. And we need to, of course, do our random event. So I did the last one. Uh, no. I did the last one. You did last one. Okay, so I will do the random events here. And it is more rain. Uh, star, so it's uh, it's just going to be another rain current plus one, so it will just extend the rain an extra day. Uh, and then that means the minor rivers will be at a four. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Make your rivers push up another one? Yep. There we go. Okay. Um, so hmm. le leader transfers. Uh, I don't have any leader transfers at the moment. Um, so if you would like to. No, I'll leave. Uh, I'll leave Jackson. And you know where they are. Okay. Why don't you give us the first initiative then for turn okay. four? Oh, oh yeah. We'll I'll have to keep tracking when we get to turn. Four. Yeah. So here we go. Uh, it is yours. Okay. Um, let's see. What are you likely to do? <sighs> let's think about this. Um, you are more than likely going to. Uh, you've taken care of Front Royal, so there's no reason for Jackson to to Terry over there. So I'm actually going to activate the um, the 5th New York uh, and they will go to 1. Here's the roll. They get plenty, but they're just going to go back to here. Uh, initiative. It's mine again. I'll do the same with the 1st Michigan. And they will get an 8 and they will just go right there. And then initiative, 
and we'll do this for the first Vermont. So nice, I did it thrice. Uh, they will get nine, but all these fantastic movement rolls just wasted for a min move into the mountains there. So we're going to block that pass. Uh, initiative. It's mine again. All right. Uh, let's see if we can't bring the first Maryland in on the fun. They get nine. So three, four and a half, six and a half, eight and a half. Initiative. It's yours. Well, okay. Um, Jackson's going to activate uh, Stonewall and Campbell. Uh, here's their movement. Seven, two, four, six, two, four, six. Initiative. Yours. Banks will activate Donnelly. And he gets a minimum of two. Usually three. So he will go uh, initiative. It's yours. We'll activate Campbell. He's just going to do a mid move. Join Jackson. Initiative. It's yours again. Donnelly will go to two, and he will attempt to destroy the bridge. So here's the roll minus two, and it is a three, so it is no effect, sadly. Um, Okay, initiative. Yours. Uh, you is going to activate the Trimble. Here's his movement. Four. Here's his extended march. He's five. Two. Four. Poor Marilyn. No. Poor Let's Marilyn see. Blue Crabs. Let me see if he escapes here anyway. <laughs> uh, your, your initiative. Uh... Yeah, I'll stay right there, I think. Um, if I lose by two points, I, I will I will kick myself. Um, Fourth New York. Well, they're over in the, in the mountains, so they will go to one and get nine. So three, six, nine. Uh, initiative. Yours. I'm going to activate Trimble again, so he goes to Team Orange. Here's his movement. Extended March. I'm just going to move into there. Initiative. It's mine again. I'm going to activate Taylor. And Yule. Here's his movement. It's two. Yule's going to transfer back to Taylor. This is extended march. He's okay. He's going to go two, four to there. Initiative. It's mine again. Activate Tolliver. His movement plus one, six. So that's two, three and a half, five. That's as far as he can go. Initiative. Yours. All right, Fremont uh, will activate his units and get a minimum two, get a five, so one and a half, three, four and a half, and sadly, let's see, one and a half, three, four and a half, yeah, so we won't be able to stack those last groups there together. Initiative, yours. Activate Ashby. Push his movement. It's ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Initiative. Activate Ashby again. Two, four, six. Initiative. On. I'm going to pass. Fremont will take them to two. And they will get a minimum two, four. One and a half, three, and just follow behind. Initiative, yours again if you wish. I'll pass. Okay. Uh, fourth New York goes to two. Ooh, twelve. Mm. Uh, three, initiative, mine again. We'll move Blinker and his group. 
minimum two. Then get three. So go three to there. One and a half, and he can join for two and a half. Uh, he presume pass. Pass. Yes. Okay. Blinker again. Minimum two, five. So three, four and a half. Four and a half. There we go. Okay. Initiative. Uh, yours pass. wants pass. Okay. Is there anything else mm -hmm. I want to do? Um, no. I will pass as well, and we will end the turn. So we're uh, so we'll do recovery first, recover rain, so everyone recovers, no entrenchments are built. Uh, turn indication phase, so we go to our third day of rain, and we give you another two victory points for front royal. So minor rivers still unfordable through this turn, of course it's still raining, um, but maybe more, so let's do, I will do the random events for this one, here we go. Uh, it is 12, which is rain current plus two. Plus two. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. <laughs> All right, so there. I have never seen this much rain in the valley. Uh, oh, there. Um, the so swollen. The river's completely swollen. swollen. So, uh, so give me the current plus two on the... Major rivers and minor rivers. And current plus two on minor rivers is the on the table says three. Okay, so it's going to go three from this moment. So one, two, three. So the day after the rain stops, and then major rivers. Uh, it's current plus two, is five. Okay, wow. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, okay. We're giving That's all right. we're, we're giving That's folks right. yeah we're giving folks a show here yeah. Um, okay. Um, so leader transfers then. Um, so we're on turn. This is turn five, right? So we got rain oh. for two more days. Yes, and uh, this is my first turn where if we're going by the order here. Let's see sequence value. So reinforcements. Oh. So now I see. Yeah, I, that's right. All right. So I'm going to review my notes here. Um, so, oops, not the victory points. Notes. All right. Um, okay. Come on, turn five. Turn five. Yeah. I roll a die, and uh, basically a one or less for the moment, and I don't get any modifiers until turn eight. Turn so, eight. So here is my roll. It is a four, so no reinforcements for me. Um, and... I don't have any leader transfers, so if you have any that you'd like to do. No, I do not. Okay, so I did the uh, random event, so you give us the first initiative. Okay, here we go. It's yours. Banks will activate Donnelly, and on this day they will try to dry off the powder, get the nitroglycerin all set up, and try to blow up the bridge with a minus two. And it is not. We cannot keep the fuses lit. Initiative, it's yours. going to activate uh, Taylor, Scott, and I'm always going to activate, yeah, Taylor, Scott, LZ, and the Maryland line. Here's their movement. Six, two, six, one and a half, three, four and a half, it's as far as he can go, because two to the next hex, and then six and a half, so that's as far as he can go. Else he's going to go two, three and a half. He actually can get to Scott, because that's going to be is it three and a half, so he's four and a half, into the hex. Plus another one and a half is six. And Maryland line is just going to go to there. Um, initiative. It's mine again. Going to activate Trimble. He gets to go four. So it's going to be two, four. Initiative. 
Kind of great caliber. Let's move it. It's a three. So one and a half, three. Initiative. Not even. Caliber again. Ooh, there we go. Seven. Uh, one and a half, three. Four and a half, six. Initiative. Mine again. Wow, nice streak of initiatives here. I'm going to activate Tails Evil. Is there a movement? Six. Two. He has enough to get in there. Initiative. Mine again. Okay. We're going to activate Ashby. Our movement is ten. Two. Four. Six. Initiative. Mine again. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so the way we're going to try this. Tell us. Tell I, us how you are going to try I this. I hate this. I hate, <laughs> hate this with a passion. <laughs> oh, but I just don't know what else to do. <laughs> well, it is. I mean, you are at a, a log jam right now. I mean, there's nothing you can do um, short of making an offensive move with Jackson, you know. Yeah. Um, um, but it's going to require a couple of steps. First, you got to clear the cavalry, uh, and then you got to get across the river. Frontal assault. This is World War One. Um, okay, so we're going to first uh, we're going to do Ewell, uh with Taylor. So let's see if that comes off, and it does. So now we're going to attempt a grand assault with Jackson. And seven minus five, so that's yep. everybody in that unit is going to. This is still not a very good assault. Um, well, so, I mean, with the with the tactical and and uh, the ratio, it's it's not it's not terrible. I mean, that's the, I don't. This is why I put them there. Is like I, you know, they are speed bumps, but they're speed bump in mass, and I get you know the two points for the mountains. So yeah, so it's four to one. Right. Uh, artillery is non-existent. Non-existent anyway. So you get an assault. Terrain is a minus two. Plus three for tactical. Uh, minus, minus one two for, for the rain. Right, minus one for rain. And then it's a four to one ratio, right? So plus three. Plus three. So I have a six, seven, up, two, three yeah. down. Yep. So plus four. Plus four is what I have, yeah. Not terrible, but so there we go. And uh, they don't again. So it is a plus three result. But uh, you take the spot. No losses. No losses. No losses. For me, uh, and you get a one. Yep. We're going to get one, two, three, and what's the need to learn some of these key codes. Control L. Yeah, I need to Control L. practice there we go. and do that same and thing. Would help me out and then they're just going to fall back two into I'm Strasbourg. I'm taking it off of, who am I taking it off of? Campbell? And they all pick up the two fatigues, right? All right. You earned that spot, so it uh, is yours. Uh, I really wanted to not lose a manpower doing that. So now the main power we go back to even Steven. <sighs> okay. So, um, <clears throat> wow. Yeah, getting the getting the fatigue instead of the disorganized was really a, a huge factor in that one. Okay, initiative. Mine again. Do I feel lucky? No, I don't. I'm not that lucky. I'm going to activate Tremble. Here's his movement. Is a seven. Here's his extended march. Okay, so he's gonna go one. Yeah, he is. <laughs> what? Yes, he is. Here it comes. So it's uh, we're gonna do an attack. So it's gonna be prepared assault. So the ratio is uh, six to one. Uh, I've got a three D or one for tactical. Uh, you have no artillery, so the artillery don't want to matter anyway. You're in a mountain, so it's going to be minus two for terrain. Minus two mountain, minus one rain. Minus one rain. 
Um, so I've got a plus. Let's see, eight up and three down. Is that right? Yeah, plus five final. Yep. I've been on the low end of all these rolls. Five. Still plus five. And that will do it for the Marylanders. Okay. They go bye bye. So we will delete them and give you a manpower <laughs> loss for me. Put the manpower back. And that flank is good till you get your one on the next roll. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's gonna be. Right. This could be a. This could be a no mas. <laughs> <laughs> if those reinforcements come barreling out of that. Oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Arrow, this right. is gonna be over. Yeah, that, that was the whole. The whole. St I mean, Lincoln wasn't wrong with the strategy of having Fremont come in the way you're coming in. Right. To have McDowell come in where he's coming in should have trapped Jackson. Oh. Now. So if that happens, it's game over. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Between the rain and everything, I mean, I, uh, that is kind of an uphill climb. But uh, yeah, no, let's. <laughs> I we'll you play see. it out. I mean, I'm not. I'm oh not done yeah, yet. no, no, I don't discount anything with you, sir. I'm not done yet. <laughs> not by <laughs> damn sight. <laughs> also broke up the gym beat. <laughs> oh <laughs> wow! Well, so I, I feel like I need to catch up. <laughs> um, okay, so here we go. Initiative. Okay, I got my point back. Here we go. Initiative. Mine again. But you know what? I am going to pass. Okay. Um, then we will, I will presume that is a continued pass if, I'm just going to move the guys, you know, along the mountain passes here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So see how far I can get them going here. Um, so Fremont gets his crew going with a minimum two. They get a six. Okay. So, uh, three, oops, three, six, and close red, and shank. Okay, um, initiative is mine again, we will take them there, and minimum two, five this time, so not quite as far. Blinker activates his crew, and they get a six. There he goes. Yeah, three, six, three, six, three, six. All right, initiative. Wow. Where are these when I need them? <laughs> Come on. All right. Uh, blinker. Another six. Wow. I'm stunned. Three, six. They are. Oh, they have gotten the telegraphs. Uh, there you go. When I was looking at this, I was thinking that I need to try to get Ashby right where you've got Blinker right now. Try to block that. Oh, uh, oh yeah, right. Right. Uh, initiative to mine again. I don't want to take them any farther. Um, Banks is good where he is. So I will pass. I make sure I don't have anybody. Sure. Yeah, sure. I'm just going to pass. Okay. All right. So recover rain. And uh, we do our turn indication phase. Move that to turn another two six. points for another two Royal. points. Front Royal is another two points for you. All right. Um, all right. Uh, so I will let you do the turn six random, random event. event. Here we go. Two dice. It's five. five. Uh, so it said no effect because of May first. <laughs> <laughs> small, small wonder. <laughs> I saw that. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Um, but luckily, it's it's already raining today, so that wouldn't have that wouldn't have been a factor. Um, all right, then I'm going to. This is turn six, right? So I try again on yeah. my reinforcements. So here it is. I need a one. I do not get it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, then uh, leader transfers for me. I will keep everyone where they are. And uh, it's to you for yours if you want to move anybody around. Yeah, I'm going to move you to uh, help me start. Okay. And uh, you did the random event, so I will do the first initiative. Here we go. 
it's yours. I'm going to activate Stonewall Brigade with Jackson. Attempt their core assault across the bridge. So here's that. It comes off. And I'm going to attempt a grand assault with Jackson. And it does not come off. So this is going to be Stonewall against Donnelly with Banks. So this is 5 to 4 ratio. Um, you have two artillery to my two. And this is a rough hex, so if you would like to make a roll for that artillery. Yep, here's the rough hex. Artillery, you it counts, it's one. Okay, no artillery. So no artillery. Pow powder is not dry. Um, five to four ratio. Tactical is four to three. Um, terrain is to minus two for the bridge. Uh, type is a one. Rain is negative one. I have a negative one total modifier. I see that is a negative one as well. Okay, there we go. Four to three is a plus one, which for me is a one D. And for me is a D. Okay, and I will take that manpower loss for there. So we are tied again. Tied again. Okay. Initiative. It's yours. Well, we're here. Let's uh, increase fatigue for Donnelly. Fatigue level four. And it's a minus one now to try to blow up the bridge because you're on the other side. And it is a one. Boom. That Jim Beam sounds really good right now, by the way. I think. Okay. Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have to pour myself a double uh, <laughs> at this point. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> it's the initiative. It's yours. So, yeah, there is, uh, yes, no attacking across that bridge now, or across that ford while the rain is on. Yeah. Okay, um, and you got a couple more days. I'm going to move Tolliver. Here's the four. One and a half, three. Initiative. It's yours. Initiative. It is yours if you want it. I'll pass. Okay. Um, I think I will pass as well. Okay. So recovering rain. All right. So. Um. That we do turn indication phase. We move that, and then you get another two VPs for Front Royal. And uh, I believe it is my turn to try the random events. So here's mm -hmm. the random event roll. What are we going to get today? It's a nine, no effect. Straight up, no effect. Okay. And uh, here is my. Attempt at reinforcement, it is, let's see, is it turn 8 yet? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I got one more turn with no modifier. So here we go. I need a 1. And I do not get a 1. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I don't have any leader transfers. Do you have any leader transfers? No, I do not. Okay. Why don't you give us a first initiative? Okay, here we go. It's mine. I'm going to activate uh, Taylor, and I'm activating him with Jackson. It's the district. It's not going to go very far. It's not going to go to there. Initiative. Mine again. Jackson again. Or Taylor again. It's seven, two, four, six. Initiative. Mine again. Wait. Campbell. 
He's going to go two, four to their initiative. Yours. Yours. Three. Ashby. Two, four. Initiative. Yours. I don't think I have any other movement then, since I can't get anywhere, and I'm not gonna. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep that there, so I will. I will pass in lieu of that. Okay, I'm gonna make one move. I'll move Tolliver. Okay. To here. Um, I'll... Um, let's see. I'll move Trimble. It's four, two, four. This is uh, yours if you want it. I will pass. I'm going to tremble one more time. Mission. Yours. Okay, pass. I will pass as well. Okay. Uh, so, recovering rain. I think we're good there. Um, turn indication phase. We're moving to May the 28th. I will give you another two victory points. Uh, that brings you to 11. So, there you go. Uh, actually, 10. 10, because I can do math. Uh, <laughs> five times two is ten, Patrick. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, turn number eight is is here now, and now I get a modifier uh, for my reinforcement check, I believe. So, so let's see. It's a one modifier? It is a minus one. Let's see. Uh, turn eight, yes, minus one. So I still need to get a... One. <laughs> so a one or a two will get me reinforcements. Here we go. Yeah. I get reinforcements. Oh, man. All right. Uh, so let's do mm. the... the <laughs> <laughs> Roger's thinking he's calculating now. Uh, all right. So they do come in in reinforcement. Let's see. Uh, is there a particular order that they come in? Yeah, you get the first increment. It's pretty good sized. Uh, that is uh, shields division. Oh, it is shields. Okay. Yes. And okay. And so the other guys. First, first Pennsylvania. Right. Okay. So then these guys go to here, and these guys go to here, and they come in at as you said Manassas, Manassas mm -hmm. Gap. Okay. Yeah, they're marching through the gap there. All right. So there we go. All right, this uh, this got incredibly interesting now. Do we, uh, I so guess the, I need to do random events, Oh, right? yes, do random events, yes. Yep. Uh, it's a nine, nine. I believe that's another... No effect again. Effect. Okay, good. So, All right. uh, so you're just, uh, you are you are free and clear. I pulled up the bridge rules for construction of bridges. Oh, so at the end of this turn during recovery, yes, you can make I an can attempt. start building a bridge. Right, okay. And the minor rivers are still unfordable because we've had so many days of rain today. Yes, right. So through the end of today, uh, it is unfordable. Um, but you guys are going to barrel at me, don't it? Okay. Okie dokie. Here we go. Eat your weenies, boys. <laughs> Alright, uh, so you gave us the random event. So here, uh, uh, leader transfers, I'm not going to make any changes. You are welcome to, if you wish. Um, no, I'm not going to make any leader transfers. Okay, so here's our first initiative. It is mine. So finally, we can actually move. So that is... Uh, well, they're still unfordable up there, but we could get around... We marched. Wow, that's a lot of north-south marching. So yes, we will we will rely on um, the refresh fresh units here with shields and McDowell coming in from the valley. So we will activate them. Uh, we'll go to fatigue level one, and we get a minimum of two, and they do, do get a two. So the whole stack to there. And the other two units will just go to there. Okay, initiative. It's mine again. Uh, shields will activate them all again. Uh, go to fatigue level two. Here's their movement. It's a four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Tyler will follow behind. Initiative. Yours. Can I activate Tremble with Yule? Here says movement. Eight. We're not raining anymore. We are no Four. longer raining. Two. He's marching down the railroad. Three. Four. Initiative. Mine again. Activate Taylor. Yule. So he has a four. So he's going to need one. He's enough to get into that stack. And initiative. Mine again. Find Tolliver in that stack somewhere. Green. Here's his movement. It's still four. One, two, three, four. Initiative. Yours. Shields will activate Fairy and Tyler to go to three. And get a minimum two. Uh, movement. Alright, and will transfer, shields will transfer to Tyler, and they'll get uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fairy will follow behind. Extended march for Tyler, plus one. He's okay, and Fairy, plus one. He's okay. Initiative, yours. I'm going to activate Tolliver Jackson, so he is Five, one. I'll plan to get to that space there. Initiative. <laughs> Mine again. Can I activate the Maryland line? So, you, sorry. So he's going to get eight. One, two, six. Initiative, yours. First Pennsylvania Cavalry will march. And get a an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Initiative. Uh, the first Maryland Cavalry over here. We'll move to Spangler's Mill. Initiative. Yours. I'm going to activate Campbell. This is movement. A Jackson. Uh, he's going to go one. He's got... Wait, mountain Hex. How much does it cost to into a Mountain Hex? So, so, so four total. He's, got, he's, he's got plenty, actually. Yeah. Initiative. Yours. I think I'll pass. I believe I will pass also. Okay. Then we are going to have a recovery in our first sunshiny day in a while. So here's that. Uh, breastworks are, are being constructed all over the place. Um, all right, so bridge stuff. Oh, actually, let's see. Uh, an eligible unit. So make an attempt of one bridge per recovery phase. So I've got, I've got, yes. Uh, I got multiples Eight? there. So, yes, <laughs> uh, we got uh, that's three, four units each. Three units each. Okay, so we'll start with uh, uh, whichever one. Milroy, first one on the stack under Blinker. Uh, of course, I keep moving this thing out of the way. All right, um, it'll be Steinware. Steinware. Okay, so really just a plus one. It's a plus one, yeah, that's what I see. Yeah, okay. So uh, so for each one, we'll just do... Uh, so Steinware first with a plus one. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, <laughs> so it is a five, so bridge is built. Okay, that was easy. Um, so I will throw a bridge on there, and then you can do whichever ones you would like. Okay. Um, I'm going to attempt my first bridge down across the Shenandoah River with... Uh, uh, I'll start with Taylor. Actually, he wouldn't have been eligible because I should have. We should have done this before we hit the recovery button, I believe. Is it? They have to be at zero. Yeah. Okay. So, so Taylor would not have been eligible. So LZ and Scott 
are eligible. So we have a, uh, it's a major river bridge now. Uh, Fire Capital is a long ways away. It's currently affordable, so it's a plus one. Uh, that doesn't next one count. It's a major river, so it's plus two, so it's plus three. Oh, good grief. Uh, there's no Florida ferry across the Hexabine Bridge. Uh, well, that's not true. So yeah, no, plus... you're, you're good on that one. Yeah, you're doing it into a 4613. Is that the one you're trying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's I, uh, plus three is what I have. Plus three is does look right, yes. Um, so try it twice. Okay, well, you got it. Okay. I have a bridge. Cool. There you go. All look right. at you. All right. There you go. Oh, you got it. I got you. Um, excellent. All right. Now. I'm going to rotate um, clockwise. There you go. Make it look really shiny. Uh, I am. That's the bridge I want built. I've got my bridge built. Okay. Uh, that's. Okay. For me, I think. Okay, so recovery then is done. Uh, we do turn, uh, turn advance, and uh, I get my so turn advance to here. Um, random event first, so to, uh, I will do that one. Okay. And, uh, here is our roll. It's eight, so there is no effect on that. Okay. Uh, minor rivers are now affordable. Here's my ne uh, oh, I don't need to roll again because I automatically get them. Yep. So here is my next system deck pouring in. <laughs> right. Okay. And um, now it is uh, time for leader transfers. And I don't believe I have any leader transfers. Yeah, that's fine. I like them. I like them where they are. No, I don't have any. Okay. Then why don't you give us our initiative? initiative. This is yeah, uh, turn number two, four, six, eight. This is turn number nine. Four more turns to go. Is that right? Uh, this one and and four more. Yeah. Let's see, uh, okay. one, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah. Initiative. It's mine. Okay, Yule is going to activate Taylor, Elsie, and Scott. Here's their movement. Four, two, three, four. Elsie's gonna go one, two, three, one, two, wait, one, one, two, far. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. And Scott, one, two, three, four. Um, initiative, mine again. I'm gonna activate uh, Jackson, Campbell, Tolliver, and Stonewall, all three. Here's their movement. It's a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jackson's gonna go Stonewall. One, two, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Initiative. Nine. Uh, Ashby is 11. Um, initiative. It's yours. On Donnelly, Banks will activate Donnelly. Go to one and get a minimum of two. Get a five. So one, two, three, four, five. Initiative. Yours. Gonna activate. Ewell's going to activate Taylor, Scott, and Elsie. And here's their movement. It's a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now the 10th Main and 8th New York. They're released. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Initiative. Yours. Banks' best bet is to do this. So he's going to march Donnelly to two, minimum two. It's a two. Um, and he is going to force march them, so they're going to flip and 
get a additional movement of two. So they're going to lose a manpower, but get two. And they'll go one, two, three, four. Yet slow Jackson's roll there for just a bit. So you you automatically destroy that bridge, right? Um, uh, let's let us find out. Let's the bridge remains on the map until an enemy unit with a combat value of five or more or three or more. See, ah, oh, I did that to myself. Boo! Oh, you can't. Ben. I, I can't because it's got a yeah. Because when I flipped, I went from a four to a three, which would have. But then with the force march, I lost one. So that is my fault. So it's still there, but you're going to have to fight your way across it, which is, that's okay. Initiative, then. It's mine again. First Maryland down here will march and get seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Initiative, yours. Great Ashby versus movement. Eight. One, two, three, six. And he has to stop there because your stuff goes across there. Okay. We're learning all kinds of stuff in this module. He's going to stop right there then. Okay. Okay. Because um, he has to. Um, initiative. It's mine again. So you're across a bridge and a hex. So that train is a minus four train, isn't it? I am in a mountain and across a river, yes. It's getting better and better. I swear you're taking us like a trooper, man. I I, <laughs> I, I would be pulling my the last of my hair out. Um well it is what it is. Um Okay. Jackson's gonna activate the, all three of his units. Um here's their movement. Just an eight. So Oliver is gonna be one it's one, one guy at a time. One. And he's going to have plenty of movement to get to there, obviously. And Campbell will be the same. He won't have any trouble getting there. Um, initiative. Mine again. Going to activate Yule, Taylor, and Scott, and LZ. So they're all going to go to T3. So I'll have to do an extended march. So we'll increase the fatigues. Here's their movement roll. Is an eight. Um, here is Taylor's extended march. He's fine. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that would be a six, three attack. And we are going to do that because he's got two movement points left. Do you have a cav retreat option? But I'm I'm not going to exercise it. We'll just stay there. Okay, you will stay there. Ratio of six to three. I may change my mind when I get done running the numbers. So uh, artillery is a wash. You don't have any, and I don't have enough to make a difference. Wait, is it clear train? Well, it doesn't matter. I don't have enough artillery. I only got one gun. Artillery is a wash. Tactical is four, two, one. Uh, train is a zero, and it's not raining. So I have a total. Plus five? No, 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 plus four. Plus four. Is I calculated plus attack. four as well, yes. Plus four attack. Here we go. Okay. It comes a nine to six is a plus three result. Okay. Not to get you out of there. Mm -hmm. All right, so. I pick up a fatigue. Two fatigues. Um, take orange anyway. So he moves into Martin's Winchester. Scott already fatigued him, so here's his extended march. 
He's fine. He can move eight hexes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or he fatigued Elsie. Here's his fatigue. Or extended march is a four. He's fine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has to stop there. Initiative. Mine again. I'm going to activate the second Virginia movement. Nine, one. Stop right there. Okay, <laughs> initiative. Mine again. Okay, I'm taking T yellow. Here's his movement. This is seven, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Initiative. Mine again. This time I am going to pass. A few things to do here. So, um, shields will activate Tyler and Fairy. Mm hmm. There. I get a minimum two. I get a four. So they will go one, two, three. One, two, three. Can't quite get there. Um, initiative. Yours. Okay. Pass. Shields will activate fairy to two. And give him a six. His extended march is a plus one. He's okay. So he will go one, two. And then make a prepared attack on the Maryland line. Um, so it is a plus one attack for prep, um, is a plus one for ratio, it's a minus one for tactical, uh. and then, yeah, you're a three and I'm a two, and then a minus two for attacking the mountain from the ground, so that's crazy! It's a negative one. Yeah, that's so right. So here we go. Uh, union left. Uh, and it is a negative two. It's unfortunate. Uh, but that is a, uh, a negative two for me. And that's a five. So it's a 1D. Uh, and a fatigue for the Maryland. Okay. So he will flip. Crease, crease, and power to crease, flip, and then I will give you a manpower, USA manpower loss. All right, and that was not what I was hoping for, but you know, you have to figure that's going to happen. Um, initiative, it's yours. I'm going to pass again. I'll activate Kimball. And I will get a movement of three. So they'll just go there. Initiative. It's your I'm going to pass again. All right. Um, Old Ricketts is going to activate uh, his two brigades. So they will get a minimum two on their movement. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Uh, initiative. It's mine again. Um, Ricketts and activate his two again. Movement. Five. One, two, and he doesn't have enough, so Daria will just pull up. He should have enough to get there to join with him. All right, uh, initiative. Mine again. Um, we'll go to three, and Ricketts will roll movement two. Which is fine. Um, extended march for tower. 
plus one, he's okay. And Dorea, plus one, he's okay. So they will just slide in with McDowell there. Mm -hmm. Alright, initiative. Yours. Point to pass again. Carol will march. And he'll get a just a die roll. Three. One, two, three. Initiative. Yours again. Presuming pass. Pass, okay. pass again, you. Yeah. Alright, uh, he'll go to two. And he gets a terrible roll because he doesn't want to fight. <laughs> um, yours again, if you wish. Pass again. Okay. Um, all right, let's move these mountain guys across their newfangled bridge here. Um, we'll move Fremont. He'll activate his crew. They will remove their entrenchments. Get a plus there. And a movement of minimum two, three. Two, three, one, two, one. Does not have enough to join. Okay, initiative. Okay, Fremont again. Minimum two movement. Three, one, two, three. Don't need a bridge over this one anymore. Two, three, and one, two, three. Initiative. Continue to pass. Pass, yeah. Okay. All right, so we need a plan for them coming out of the mountains. Where are they going to go? Um, I think we'll uh, activate Blinker. Get rid of his entrenchments. And they get a movement of four. One, two, three, one, two, one. It does not have enough to get there. These mountains are tough, man. Yeah. No stacking. Uh, initiative. Okay. Um, well, we got a traffic jam now, so we got to move these guys. Fremont takes them to three. They get a minimum two. Five. Okay, so extended march for Milroy plus one. He's okay. One, two, three, four, five. Clouseret plus one. Uh oh, he flips. He pulls up behind, and then Shank plus one. He flips. Yeah, these guys just fall apart. Yeah. Uh, they have a long they march have, across the mountains. They have. In the rain. That's right. Um, okay, initiative. Probably just snow for them. Probably. Uh, Blinker will take his crew to two. And a movement of minimum two, three. One, two, three. Steinware follows. Stahl follows. All right, initiative. Yours again? Pass again. All right. Ricketts will attempt an assault against his better judgment. So he'll take his two crew. Uh, let's see, what is he? Uh, he's a, okay, so. Um, so he will advance them to four. And here is his command roll for the assault. Ah, oh, Bill. All right, initiative. That's mine again. Uh, McDowell will have stern words for him. <laughs> um, that is not going to be good. You're going to have breastworks in a mountain. Well, that's right. They go B1, B2, don't they? Yeah, that's yep. right. Okay. This is 1862. Yeah, that's right. Um, okay. But, but don't, don't panic just yet. Oh, I got to panic. That's what I live for, man. <laughs> what are you panicking about? <laughs> I've got nothing. <laughs> Yeah. This is a Union decisive victory still. <laughs> <Oy>. <laughs> well, okay. Um, then I will... Um, I will move the 1st Maryland there. Cavalry. I think it's 7, so they will just join Banks there. 
Mm. Initiative. It's yours. I will pass one more time. Okay, I will pass as well, I think. So, recovering regular sunshine. That is good. Um, all right. You may attempt a pontoon boat or a pontoon bridge over to 4513 if you wish. Uh, I do not wish, actually. Okay. okay. Um, all right. Then here's our turn advance. Uh, I'm going to move that, and then I'm going to get my last stack over here. Put them out. Get a couple, couple of new town points. Yes, so you're actually going to get four points now. So you're going to go up to 16. So there you go. Um, all right, we move the turn marker. Um, so we have this river, this turn, that the rivers are still unfordable. But it is your turn to roll the random events. Okay, here we go. It's 11. It's 11. Uh, that's nothing. So well, it's one away from a very bad oh. one. <laughs> uh, right. Um, okay, so I put my additional reinforcements out. Don't believe I need to do anything with the Harper's Ferry crew because you have not gotten up there into Jefferson. Not gotten there yet. Okay. I'm supposed to have been there three, <laughs> four turns ago. I'm supposed right. to be there. Um, all right, leader transfers. I don't believe I have any leader transfers. Uh, so it is it is turn number ten. This game is. Uh, it seems, yeah. I I mean, there's there's con there's consternation on your side of the field. I totally get that. But it's turn ten. <laughs> it is turn ten, and I'm still quite tense of what you can do here in the next four active turns. Um, I, I think, uh, I don't know if you can get all the points, but you can certainly, you can close the gap a bit, I think. Yeah, I think I can close the gap. I think I can close the gap. Got to decide when to press the gas pedal. Right, right. Can't do it too soon, because, um... One of these days, Fremont's about ready to pour into the valley here. That is true. Um, I just, he's untested. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm Lincoln. I have no idea what Fremont can do. He's, uh, he's, he's from out <laughs> west, you know. He's, he's been doing his thing in California. How do I know what he can do? I, I really wish they didn't have that. You have to have somebody in the valley or in the county. Right, right. Because that's going to be really tricky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no, hit, can, there's no hit and fade on that one. you gotta, you got to yeah, sacrifice now, somebody. Major rivers are still unfordable. Yeah, major rivers are still unfordable till the end of this turn. And then everyone can, de of course, depending on what the weather's like tomorrow, uh, they can pour Oh, across. yeah, we haven't, rolled, we haven't rolled random events yet, have we? We've done uh, everything right, ready for random events, I think. Uh, no, you did. You got an 11. So you're okay. For oh, okay. Time. Yeah. So we're okay. good. Um, I did not do any leader transfers. I don't think I. I was not going to, and I don't know if you were planning. Uh, on that. I, no, I got Ewell. He's leading his division. Okay. Jackson has got his guys. Right. I need to figure out. That's how a puzzle to defend, for you, right? Defend what I've got here. Um, um, okay then. Well then, why don't, uh, I will give us our first initiative then, and we will begin turn number ten. Okay. It is yours. Bring up the Virginia Regiment. Here's their movement. Five, one, two. Our initiative, boxcars. Gonna activate Jackson. Gonna activate uh, Tolliver and Campbell. Here's their movement. Seven, one, two. Campbell's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Initiative. It's mine again. So I'll have to hit Tolliver. His movement. Five. Moved one. Is five. So he does have enough to get there. Initiative. Mine again. Campbell to fatigue. Move him there. Initiative. Yours. Well, McDowell has 
uh, sent the Department of the Rappahannock in to look pretty. So they'll just uh, <laughs> they'll just kind of sit there, I think, for a little bit. Um, yeah. Fremont, as you said, Fremont seems to be the potential MVP of this group. So he's gonna at least get them out of the way. Uh, they're gonna move minimum of two. And it is a two. So we're gonna go two, two, and two. Uh, initiative. It's them again. Uh, they will go to level two. Oops, level two for him. Uh, minimum two. There we go. Um, all right, so we've got extended marches here. First of all, I need to figure out where I'm sending them. So they're going to go... Let's see, Milroy's extended march is a plus one. He's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus Ray's extended march plus one. He's okay. He'll follow behind. And Schenk's extended march plus one. He's okay. Follow behind. Okay. Initiative. It's yours. Mule's going to activate all three of his brigades. So here's their movement. So four. Uh, here is Taylor's extended march. He's okay. So I'm going to go one, two, three. What would the uh, eighth New York like to do? They will... Let's see, you've got one left. Got one left. One movement point left. And I've got one and a half. Um, I believe we will... Let's see, and you are... What's your ratio? Six. Uh, so it's four to one no matter what, unless I move. Otherwise it's going to be five to one. So uh, I'll make you earn it. I'll stand. Okay. Um... I feel like I have to attack at this point. So this is going to be, I have one movement point left, and so this is going to be a hasty attack. Hasty attack. So the type is a minus one. Uh, the ratio is six to, how many do you have? Uh, one and a half. Six to one and a half. So four to one, two plus three. So plus three, um, you have no artillery. I have one, so the artillery is not going to matter. Right, and then uh, uh, tactical is four to one. one. Mm -hmm. So no flank, obviously. So I have a plus five attack. I see a plus five. Yes. Okay, so here we go. Plus five. That um, was good. So so plus seven. Plus seven. And that is a one DR, so I will uh, I will lose the eighth New York. And they will delete. They will evaporate. And uh, the other guys will just become demoralized. Just in advance for me. And I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. And I will give you another victory point for manpower losses. Advancing Stevenson's depot. I have four moving points when I started this. So one, three, four. Both is going to go one, two. But I also have to maintain control. So I'm going to leave him there. Initiative. It's yours. Blinker will activate his crew. We've got a fatigue level one. Here's their movement. And they get a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Steinwehr follows. Style follows. Initiative. It's mine again. 
blinker takes them to two. And here's their movement. It's two this time. Two, two, two. Initiative. Point again. So the first New Jersey will march. The cavalry, rather. And uh, they get pittance. One, two, three. Initiative. Yours. Can I break uh, Scott with Yule? Here's his movement. The six. Here's his extended march. Five, which is. He's oh, okay. Just at eight with him. Two. Yeah. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Initiative. It's yours. First New Jersey increases fatigue. They will march. Getting a very nice roll this time. And they will join McDowell. And initiative. Yours. Can activate Scott again. This is movement. This time he's outside of yours. So it's one plus one. But two. Here's his extended march. Three. He's still okay, but he just goes two. And he has now entered Berkeley County. Initiative, I think. It's yours. Well, gosh, we have to we have to protect the railroad. So Slu will march, get a roll of four. So one, two, three, four. Initiative. Might again. Slu again. It's a three this time. One, two, three. Initiative. Um, slew again, one more time. Movement, two. Now he's got an extended march of plus two, because he's a railroad guy. Uh, and he is going to flip, because that's what they do. Alright, um, he goes two. So he'll go one and two. And initiative. Yours. Activate, uh, Yule's going to activate Taylor. So he's going to go with T, Orange, versus Boomlet. Five, six, day March. He's okay. One, two, three, four, five. Issue. Yours. All right. Uh, I think Slu will give the last measure of their marching ability along the railroad, checking all the telegraph lines. Uh, here's their march. Four. Here's their extended march now of plus three. And, oof, that's a nine. And he is a... He's going to mm. lose two manpower. He's down to a three, and he's got a march of four. One, two, three, and four. All right. It's a race, Charlie Brown. Initiative. Yeah. It's mine again. Um, Blinker has come as far as I want him to go. Um, all right, so at this point, I think Mad McDowell is going to try to do something other than look pretty. Um, so Ricketts will attempt an assault again. So tower. And then we'll increase fatigue. Here we go. Here's the command roll. It's four, so they can both participate. And now McDowell will attempt a grand assault. Here's his roll. And it succeeds. So all 12... Does it succeed? He's a five. Oh! Roger. Because I can't look at numbers. I have <laughs> number blindness. That's fine. Okay. No, no. We'll, we'll, we'll make this work somehow. Uh, let's see. You've got nine and I've got 12. Okay. Man, I really just needed the extra plus one, but that's okay. All right. So plus one for an assault. 
it is minus two for the mountain. And that is all that I can tell because I've got your ratio covered. There is no artillery. And uh, flanking That's doesn't count. Even. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, minus all of that. So yes, it is just a negative one because of that silly mountain. So here we go. Union on the left. We need a big six. Big six on my side. Oh, minus three. Yeah. What that do? Minus three mm -hmm. with twelve is a two D. So I've just given you a couple more. Oh man, I've got to stop doing this. Um, okay, all right, that's fine. This is this is good. This is fine. Remember, people watching this after the fact, it is never, ever, ever tactically wise to attack entrenched positions while well, they're not entrenched but they're building entrenchments uh, in a gap in the mountain so let this be a lesson to you don't do as I do all right so I lose two more manpower losses you're sitting right now on uh, let's see it's six to two so it's a uh, you've got eight points on manpower losses and 16 points so you're sitting at 24 24. Yeah. <laughs> Still pretty deep in hole. Well, I don't know, but uh, you only need forty-five, right? That is that is the magic number. So forty-five, yes, forty-five. So twenty-one points away, and you're going to get some more now at the end of this one. All right, initiative. It's yours. I'm going to activate Ashby. Here's his movement. Eight. One two. Three, four, six. Initiative. It's mine. I'm going to pass. Um, I believe I will pass as well. I've moved all the key players. Uh, not... You got a stack of guys sitting there yet? I do. I do. But um, I mean, realistically, am I gonna? Am I going to keep throwing them into the meat grinder? Mm, yes, you are. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> the, answer, oh, the correct answer to that is no, I'm not. No. All right, uh, so I will pass as well. We will recover with the sunshine. Uh, everyone has recovered. People are exhausted and whatnot. A turn indication phase now. Um, I will move that ahead. And you will now get uh, four more victory points, correct? So move that to 20. So that goes to there, and that goes to there. Okay. So you are now at 30... Uh, let's see, plus you've got uh, four, so you got eight, and 20, you got 28 victory points, yes. Okay. Um... All right, random events. This is this is pretty pretty critical now. I need some I need some rain. I need some more rain. Yeah, so showing you, it's going to be like over. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, I'm not sure it's not over already. Actually, right. but. okay. I will do the rain. Uh, the uh, excuse me. I will do the random event roll. Um, the random event roll, if you will. It's a ten, so that is no effect. Ashby. Um, then we will. I will get my other reinforcements at Harper's Ferry. <clears throat> and oops. There it goes there. Cooper has arrived to guard the railroad per President Lincoln's wishes. Alright. Um, leader transfers. I think I will move uh, because it matters. I'm going to move Ricketts down to Heartstuff. Heartstuff to give him a little bit better movement and I will move that is the only one I will move so to you sir uh can we leave everybody where they are alright uh, so give us the first initiative roll 
Okay, there we go. And all the rivers are affordable again. Everything is now affordable. Okay, so my initiative. So I'm going to activate Yule and Yule's going to activate Scott and Taylor. There's their movement. Five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five. Initiative. Mine again. So I'll take them both to fatigue yellow. There's the movement. Five again. Taylor first. Here's his extended march. He's fine. We'll put the movement of five now before I lose track of it. One, two, four. Five. And here is Scott's extended march. He's okay. One, two, three, four, five. Miss you. Yours. Well, Slew's got to try. Slew will go to fatigue level two. Here is his march. That's it. Uh, his extended march is now a plus two, and he's going to lose another manpower. And he goes one, two. All right, initiative. It's mine again. Cooper will march. His movement is four. Oops, one, two, three, four. Initiative. It's mine again. Cooper again. Movement. Ah, one. Initiative. Yours. Okay, first going to go to take three. Here's his movement. Six. I think he was here. Um, here's his extended march. So one. So he's going to go one, two, three. So he's going to launch a normal attack on Slew. So that's going to be a six to two attack ratio. Um, it's four to two tactical. Uh, you have one artillery. I have. So it's a minus one for artillery. Uh, terrain is zero. Artillery, there's no type. So this is a plus three. Oh, I've got a flank. You do. That you have a plus two flank, right? Plus two flank. Which means a final plus five. That's what I see. Six up and one down. Okay. Here we go. Plus five result. It's a plus four final. Okay. And they're a two. So it's just a DR for them. And you Six. capture Martinsburg. Big FT. One, two, three, four. It does take Martinsburg. Initiative. Mine. He's going to go to T green. He gets to move nine. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Issue. Chores. Uh, Banks will activate Donnelly to march. Increases fatigue. We'll give him a minimum of two. Here's his march. It's a two. What would Ashby like to do? We're going to stand. We will stand as well. Initiative. It's mine again. I'm going to activate Donnelly again with thanks and get a minimum of two. It is a six. Now, what would Ashby like to do? We're still going to stand. Okay. They'll, they'll, uh, they'll just hold tight. 
You're you're not going to blink, so that's fine. Initiative, yours. I'm going to activate. So I'm going to increase his fatigue to yellow. Kind of wasted some movement there. So here's his movement is a four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Initiative. It's mine again. Pass. I will activate Blinker and his crew to fatigue level one. Here is their movement. Let's say four. One, two, three, four. Steinware behind. Stahl behind. Initiative. It's yours. Or pass again. Um, Fremont will activate his crew. And they'll get a movement of four. One, two, three, four. There and there. Initiative. Yours. I'll pass again. Ricketts will move Hartsuff and get a minimum two. It's a two. So one, two. And presuming pass. Pass. Okay. Uh, he goes to fatigue level two. And another two. These guys coming out into the valley from Manassas are just like, we had good food over there. <laughs> Initiative. <laughs> it's yours. going to pass again. Um, I don't see any... I mean, you have got those two passes so well bottled up that um, I don't see a good argument to be made for for trying that at this point. So I'm going to pass as well. And right. uh, so let's do the recover button. There we go. Um, so everybody's recovered. Things are doing. We will... Uh, all right, so first we'll do turn indication phase into turn number 12. And you're now going to get seven victory points. So we'll take that up to seven. So you now have 27 and eight. So you have 35 victory points, just 10 shy uh, with this turn and next turn to go. Um, Okay, so give us our random event. Okay, here we go. To die. Seven no, is no effect. No effect, okay. Uh, leader transfers don't have any that I need to do. Uh, I'm not going to transfer any leaders. So it is to you for any leader transfers. Um, I'm going to leave Jackson where he is, and you will where he is. All right. I'm good. Okay, so I will give us our first initiative. Penultimate turn. It's yours. Back to Ashby. This is movement. 10, 11, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. Nine, ten. I'm going to stack him up on there for now. Uh, initiative. It's yours. Yeah, Fremont will activate the Mountain Boys. A good one. Here's their movement. It's a mm. five. One, two, three, four, five. This array it's there. Shank one, two, three, four, five. Uh, initiative. Mine again. Blinker will move his crew. Minimum two movement. And that's what they get. Two, two, two. Initiative. Yours. Can activate. Yule's going to activate Taylor and Scott. Here's their movement. Five. Here is. Must, oh, shoot. And back up. One, two. 
Okay, so Scott was not FTT. Okay. So this is Taylor's extended march. He's five, so he's okay. So my movement was a seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Scott's just going to do a min move into Martinsburg. Uh, initiative. It's yours. All right, Blinker takes his crew to two. And gets a minimum two march of... Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Initiative. Yours. Uh, yours can activate Taylor. Here's his movement. It's three. There's his extended march. It's fine. One, two, three. Initiative. Mine again. This is palpable, Roger. Going to activate the second Virginia infantry. Our regiment, uh, cavalry, golly. Uh, here's his movement, or their movement is a four plus one is five. One, two, three, four, five. Initiative. It's mine again. So I'll activate him again. Ten. One, two, three, four. I'm better for now. Initiative. It's yours. The tenth main will activate. Get movement of one. Of course. Uh, we remove their entrenchments. Uh, initiative. It's yours. Or pass. Blanker will activate his crew. And they will get a minimum two. They get a two. Uh, so. Steinware will march first. He gets an extended march of plus one. He flips. One, two. And Stahl, his extended march is plus one. He's okay. He will go one, two. And Blinker and Bolin, extended march plus one. They're okay. One, two. Okay. Uh, initiative. It's yours. No. Pass again. Tenth main will go to two. And they will get a movement of two. One, two. I mean, railroad guys on the railroad, and they only go a two. <laughs> Come on. We're, uh, we're building it. As uh, we that's true. Checking that's right. it out, inspecting that's it. That's right. Pickaxes are heavy. Um, all right. Hand carts, I guess. I don't know. Uh, initiative. Mine again. Tenth main will go to three. And get a movement of five this time with an extended march now of plus two. And they're okay. So go one, two... Three, four, five. Initiative. Yours. Ashby's going to march. And he's going to put a flanks or fused marker on. That's all he's going to do. Um, initiative. It's mine. I'm going to pass again. Uh, the tenth main um, went to four. They got a movement of five. Their extended march now is a plus three. And they will flip, becoming a one. Um, but they will just go there. Initiative, yours. I will pass. Blinker will activate Bolin to four. He will get a minimum two to this roll. It's a two. It's 
it's always a two. Um, extended march now is a plus two. Of course, he will flip because everything goes wrong. Um, all right, disorganized. All right, so he moves there. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. I can't. I can't give you a point. And I know that's what's going to happen, so... I will hold off. He will just stand there. Initiative. It's mine. Fremont is rather fresh. So, let's let's activate them. Moment of two movement. It's a two. Um, one, two. One, two, one. Oops. All right. Initiative. Mine again. I will pass. I will pass also. Yeah. Man, this is... Oh, this is so good. Because <laughs> I, I think you have enough to squeak it out. I don't... Uh, because even if I take that back, you're going to get five more points, and that's going to be 12. Not sure. And you need two, but I have to get some manpower losses on it, so it's going to be razor thin. Um, okay, so first thing we do is recover, recover, sunshine, all is well, okay, and we advance the turn to the final game turn, uh, so I'm giving you oh. seven more victory points, so you are at 27 right now, so you'll go to 34, 34. And with the manpower losses currently of uh, six to two, it's plus four, so that's eight points. So you're at 42 right now. 42 points. You need three more to win. Turn 13. And uh, I think it is your turn to do the random event. I believe so, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Is a ten. ten. No effect. All right. Yeah, no All effect. Right. All right. Um, no reinforcements. No leader transfers that I'm a well. Let's see. Um, I will transfer Blinker to Stall, and I will transfer Fremont to Shank. Okay. Those are those are my transfers. I don't have any transfers at this point. Okay. So here we go. Here is our first initiative. Final turn. All the marbles. Good luck. It is yours. Okay. I'm going to activate Taylor with you. This is movement plus two. Six. One, two, three, four. Initiative. It's yours. Blinker will activate stall. And he goes to fatigue level one, minimum two. And he's just going to go to there, apparently. Um, initiative. It's yours. And activate uh, Taylor Yule again. This is movement. It's eight. Here says extended march. He's okay. So he's gonna go one, two, three. He has five left. I'm gonna stay there for now. Here's the initiative. Yours. Attempt to move Fremont and his crew. Um, Fremont is a district leader, so yes, he can. Okay. All right, so here is Fremont's march, minimum two. Oh, well, there's a section. Right. There you go. Um, so he will go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, initiative. 
It's yours. I'm going to, I should have probably done this last time. Taylor is going to go to Teague 3. Here's his, I'm attempting an assault with Ewell. It does not come off. So initiative, I should have done that the last time. It's yours. All right, so Fremont then will... I think I just have the one because the breastworks are on LZ. Ashby does not have breastworks. So oh, he does not get the, that, is get the that is true. That is true. Yes, okay, good. All right. Um, okay, so uh, so Fremont then will... Uh, he will just bring in Milroy. He'll activate Milroy for an assault. We'll start with that. Uh, here is his command roll. It goes off. Um, he will now attempt a grand assault, so here is that, and it does not come off. Yikes! He's got a terrible number, doesn't he? Well, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize he was a four. That's yeah. awful. I really, I really should, I should have brought in the two, but I didn't want to blow everybody. All right, um, so this is going to be then uh, plus one assault. Minus, uh, we're okay on tactical, so no, nothing on that. Uh, minus one for artillery, and then plus two for final flank, and minus one for ratio. So I see three up, two down. Is that what you see? Uh, tactical is even, right? Yeah. So, yes, that's what I see. Okay. Uh, so a plus one. Here is a plus uh, plus one. Okay, Union left. Nope. All right, now I'm minus two. So I'm just digging the hole deeper, and this is this is what I always do late in the game. Right here. All right. Oh, minus two is a fatigue. <sighs> really, minus two. Damn it. On a four, it's a one D. Just giving you two more points. So. I think that puts you over the top with the... Uh, well, you already had it, but... Um, yeah. I, I just... You, I, lost, you lost the manpower on it? I did. Yeah. Minus two. Okay. So, um, he is done. And flips and decreases. And uh, initiative. That's yours. You know what you should do, correct? I'm going to pass at this point. Yeah, and I, and I am going to pass as well, <laughs> and congratulate okay. you, and congratulate you on a, a fine victory. So let's do the official points. Uh, we'll do the recovery, do the recovery, and then we'll uh, give you the turn indication phase. Uh, I will give you an additional seven victory points. So you're at uh, 34. So you will go to 41 on that. And uh, officially, then, uh, it is uh, five. Uh, so you got plus ten for my manpower losses and uh, forty-one. So a fifty-one is your final score, which I believe is still a Confederate marginal. Marginal. I only win marginal. That's the only way I win. <laughs> but it, hey, that is a W, man, and what a wonderfully oh but what did it prove to us that it can rain for five days in a row and you still got a better than average chance just imagine if i mean if jackson was left to his devices if you had kept him on the other side of the mass of nuttons and he bulldozed his way through strasburg just imagine what uh how, how much the points would have racked up for you because you would have had all of that stuff so much earlier but um, what are your thoughts on this scenario? Um, <laughs> right? <laughs> I, you know, you say that. I'm going to put a big but. Here's the but. The, it actually worked out that Jackson got stuck because I was able to keep your reinforcements bottled up on the eastern side. True. Um, True. Very much so. Um, the fact that they got stuck there actually turned out to be an advantage. Ewell was able to do some broken field running, mm-hmm. get north, right. grab Martinsburg, grab Winchester, just enough turn. And um, and this proves yet again that it doesn't matter how much might the Union side throws at things. When you are sitting in a mountain, hex, 
and and I'm beating my head against the wall, all I'm doing is just giving you two victory points at a yeah. time every time. And it yeah. and I bring a lot of forces in to try to to do a big ratio and I'm getting more manpower losses and that's more two victory points, more two victory points. So yes, having having the ability with that interior line there being trapped there, who was trapped by whom, I wonder. Hmm? Yes. Uh, um, that's a good question. Um but I was kicking myself for going on that side. <laughs> well, I well, was, that really was it. Uh, I was feeling that pretty really... good there. Yeah, I gotta admit, uh, I I thought I had him bottled up, and and once the rain just kept going, um, I thought, that well, he can't he can't punch through once I destroyed the bridge at Strasbourg. I thought, okay, he's got to wait and then wait and then wait, and uh, I just thought of all the points I was depriving you per turn, but all it takes is seven points for three or four turns. And yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a good thing. But yeah, I was ready to call it about May 29th. <laughs> <we were> turning. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's, there's no chance. No chance. Yeah. No, but, you uh, um, never, never say die in this game. I mean, but in, in this case, the rain also helped me. It, it bottled up the mountain army. For all that time, you guys oh, couldn't man. move or build a bridge. I know. I thought, um, uh, oh, boy, I wish I could have gotten over Lost River. <laughs> you may have been able to turn, looking at the map, but you may have been able to turn. Well, you, but... Uh, but would you have done that, though? Because no, you would not no. have thought it would get well, raining for days after days. And, after that, days. and that begs the question, because I, I was curious, because I've seen this I've seen this before. You, when you had committed to that that way... Um, on that side of the mass nuttons and Jackson and what two thirds of his division were stuck there. At what point would you have decided to go back up the valley towards, oh. to, towards, you know, a usable bridge? I mean, and expend all of that time. Um, the fact that you decide to stay there and keep passing and keep passing, uh, is a testament to <laughs> Jackson's stick to that, you know, he's eventually getting across that river. I, I just did, you know, count up how many hexes I had to go, and it's like, good grief. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, if it keeps Two raining, time, right? then I'm really out of luck, and yeah. it's might as well, I mean, if it stops raining, then I might as well stay put. So, once, um, and, and the whole thing, uh, I can tell you where it turned, was you had the bridge built in that first open turn, and I was, uh, I, I was just that first movement roll for Banks was one, two, three, I think he got four maybe, and he did a five or six to get him in a good yeah. position, and Yule was able to scoot right over and get past him, and once he got into the open field, that is the breakout. But this was, this was, uh... This one was something else, I tell you. Yeah, I could have. I was <laughs> just going off the range of cattle. <laughs> but I, I think it helped actually because it, when I, I said about it, May I 29th, I basically give yeah. it up. But like, oh, this is not going to be happening. Right? But I, you know, I hope I hope that reinforces the fact that uh, you, you're never you're never out of this game. I mean, because even with your spreadsheet, I could hear you working the spreadsheet over there. Once <laughs> I once the once I ran the numbers too, I went, oh boy, if I you know if if you got Martinsburg, which you did. Because I, I I won the foot race, but then lost the battle there. Um, you know that was that was that was hard because I could I could afford to give up four points a turn, but not seven points a turn. Seven, yeah, yeah. But I was really hoping to get Harper's. I really thought I needed to get Harper's Ferry. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, and maybe yeah. that's maybe that's just the it's just the you know the 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 fool's gold. Maybe that's the fool's gold. It could be. One. Just it's it's out there to to attract you and. And it's not worthwhile. This is, it was Jackson's goal. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, and I don't think because I did not have both Strasbourg and Front Royal, that last little bit did not factor in um, into the negatives for you. So, uh, so this was just a you know, I it may be a marginal on paper, but I think you did a far better job than than you think you did. Because no, I, I I was getting really worried when you pulled Fremont south about okay he's going to try to stand. That's why I moved. I was like, who do I have that I can try to block that with? And all I had was a little 
Virginia Regiment. <laughs> yeah, his, his goal was really just to, to put himself between Jackson and uh, Harper's Ferry just in case, but to also yeah. be flexible to go up and assist, um, which, you know, you, you, you encouraged that. <laughs> even, though, <laughs> even though he failed, he should have, he should have, uh, I should have gone in with both units to try, but um, it was a negative two. Yeah, that's all right. It, it breaks your spirit, but uh, great, great job tonight. Great victory. Yeah, well done. Yeah. yeah. Fun game. Oh, yes, sir. It is always a fun game. And uh, for those of you watching, of course, we hope you've enjoyed yet another trip up and down, up and down the valley uh, tonight with uh, scenario number three. This is, once again, Winchester. It is a fun one. We give it thumbs up, two thumbs up. Yeah, uh, yeah for I, sure. I am so excited to play uh, the Confederates next week, and, of course see how completely different it is but uh, <laughs> as all as always we hope you are liking and subscribing and ringing the bell and leaving your comments we're getting more and more comments from folks so uh, uh apparently people are really enjoying uh stonewall in the valley so i'm, I'm just pleased as as uh, as as punch that uh, people are uh and <laughs> there we go there's our ding ding so uh, do you have any final thoughts for the good of the order before we we say good night after four and a half uh, hours. <laughs> um, I can't believe it's eleven thirty because I thought this went very fast. It did. It's so deceptively fast. Um, uh, just this is still on Valley has been just great fun. Every scenario. Yeah, it, it is. Every one's been different. Every one of them is, is a foot race. It's amazing. <laughs> And I've got to believe next. Well, the foot race. It's the rain just impacts everything and changes your strategy and. Um, I'm really looking forward to next week, and um, if you can hang on after we go off, uh, we'll talk some scheduling. Okay, that sounds good. And uh, everyone, thank you for watching tonight, and we will see you here next week. Have a great one. <laughs>